how powerful the Word of God is. Because sometimes, my dear friend, we tend to neglect the Word of God, which is the biggest mistake that a Christian could make. So from now on, I hope and I trust that even as I share these secrets with you, you will take notes and your life will go to another level. But without any further delay, let's get into it. The first scripture that I want to share with you comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. And I'm going to read to you from the NIV version. It says, For the word of God is alive and active. It is sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. My dear friend, that's the first thing that I want to share with you. The word of God isn't just some other kind of notes or some other kind of written literature. It is alive. It is living. It is active. It is spirit and it's life put into the form of words. When you take the scripture and you read it, the Holy Spirit comes and he breathes over it and it becomes revelation and it receives power and the ability to change your life. The Word of God is alive and it's active and it helps you to discern that which is of God and that which is not of God. This is why it's so important that you have the Word of God. The second thing that I want to share with you comes from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17, the NIV version. It says, all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for all good work. The first thing that I want to show you over there, my dear friend, is all scripture. Every single word in the Bible is God-breathed. Even the full stop is God breathed. Every single word, even the comma, every single word in the Bible is God breathed. God is the one who's released it. The forefathers of our faith that wrote the word, they never just wrote it on their own accord. They were led by the Spirit of the living God. In God's place for your life. You cannot walk in the call and the destiny and the purpose for your life if you don't take the word of God and you don't receive the equipping that only the word of God can give you. It's so important that you get the Word of God. Another thing that I want to share with you comes from the book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 105, NIV version. It says, Your Word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. My dear friend, without the Word of God, you can't even discern what is the Holy Spirit or what is not. But as you take the Word of God and you read it, you make the Word of God the standard for your life. God will give you direction. Another thing that I want to share with you comes from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 22, the NIV version. It says, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Mm -hmm. My dear friend, it goes far over and beyond just listening to the word. We are to put the word of God into practice. Who is a follower of Jesus except the one who actually takes his teachings and puts them into practice? We are followers of Christ. We are believers in Christ. We are children of the living God. Therefore, it makes sense that we should take His Word and we should put it into practice. Another thing that I want to share with you is from Psalm 119 verse 9, the NIV version. It says, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your Word. My dear friend, do you want to stay pure in your heart? Do you want to stay on the path of purity? The Bible says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, those who are pure in heart will see God. Do you want to be pure in heart? Do you want to be on a path of purity? Then you need the Word of God. Live according to the Word of God and you will stay on a path of purity. Another thing that I want to show you is from the Gospel of Luke chapter 11 verse 28, the NIV version. It says, he replied, Blessed brother are those who hear the Word of God and obey it. My dear friend, hearing the Word of God and obeying the Word of God brings the blessing of God in your life. If you want the blessing of God to manifest in your life, you need to take the Word of God. You need to read the Word of God, and not just read it, but you need to obey it. As you obey the Word of God, the Word of God will open up doors. Doors of blessing will swing open. They won't just swing open. They'll burst open. They'll burst open into your life. The floodgates of heaven will rain down as you take the Word of God and you put it into practice. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 says, Therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. My dear friend, if you understand the test of time, if you understand all the trials and tribulations, if you understand all the situations that come against you in life, 
You need to take the words of Christ and put them into practice. You'll be like the wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the winds blew, all the situations that would come against him came. But when the word of God was there, he was built and set on the rock and his house stood the test of time. You need the word of God in order to stand all the tests that will come up against you. The next thing that I want to share with you comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 7, the NIV version. It says, if you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My dear friend, this is another key and a secret to receiving in prayer from God. Keep the word of God in you, and it will enable you to walk in a realm where whatever you ask for, you will receive. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. When you take the word of God and you put it in your heart, and you put it into practice. In the spiritual realm, something happens. It's almost like God has so much attention towards you. He's just wondering, there's something about this person. I need to listen to this child of mine. There's something about them. God's attention is constantly on you because the Word of God highlights you. It highlights you to God. And even in the spiritual realm, when evil spirits see you and you fill them with the Word of God, they see a dangerous person. They see someone, hey, you shouldn't touch this person. Because if this person releases a word, kind of like in that vision I told you about, when this person releases a word, it will destroy me. That's how the evil spirits think when they see someone who's filled with the word of God. So make sure, my dear friend, that you fill yourself with the word of God. The last but not the least thing that I want to share with you is from the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11, NIV version. It says, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. When the word of God goes out, it doesn't just go out just like that. It goes out on a mission, and it does not come back until it accomplishes that mission. When it accomplishes the mission, and it comes back to God, then it gives him a report of what's been done. So even you, I want to encourage you from today onwards, take the word of God, apply it in your life, confess it in your life, release it in your life. You might be going through a situation. Go on Google. Nowadays it's so easy. You can even just go on Google. Search for scriptures that relate to your situation. Confess those scriptures out loud in your situation and you will see a change. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm telling you, I'm giving you my word as you take the scripture of God, as you find scriptures that relate to your situation and you confess them out and you say, my God will deliver me and you pray those scriptures. You shall see God come through for you in such a mighty way. You will be blown away and you will wonder, wow, this is so powerful. You will wonder why people don't listen to the word of God. It's so amazing. But in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. Let's go into a time where we just touch the hem of his garment. Take your cell phone, your device, go somewhere private where you can just pray. As you go there, lift up some praise to God. And God will bless you. Father, you are the Lord and my God. The God in whom I trust. The God, you sent his word and healed my disease. Father, we praise you. We glorify you, both myself and my dear friend, for what you did today. As we are together, as we are praying together, Lord, we just give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord, for all the things that you do, even the little things. Even the little things, we thank you for them, Lord. It means a lot to us. Even the little things mean the world to us. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the praise. Be glorified today, even as we pray together, both myself and my dear friend. I ask this in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray, let your word be lifted up in this ministry. Let your word be lifted up in the life of my dear friend. Let your word be lifted up in my life. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Come, Lord, Holy Spirit. Take over control here when I'm recording you. And take over control when my dear friend is watching. I pray and ask this in the name of Jesus. My dear friend, say, Holy Spirit, come and take over control of this atmosphere. Say, Holy Spirit, come and fill me afresh. Fill me with the Word of God, Lord Holy Spirit. Open the Word of God to me, Lord Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, God's presence and power is here. And I want to get into a time of prayer. I want to pray with you and for you that as you take the Word of God, these secrets and these keys that I've shared with you today, I want to pray that they will become active in your life and that you will be blessed. But before we go there, I want to encourage you to do three things. Number one, comment in the comment section as usual and agree with me. There is power in the gift. And even as you comment and agree with me, the testimony that God is giving you is on the way. 
The second thing that I want to share with you, my dear friend, is if you've got a private prayer request, go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org, and pick a daily prayer list. Fill in the form, fill in your prayer requests, and send them through. I want to trust God with you. Number three, if you've got a testimony, share it and help build someone else's faith. If we've been praying together that God has done something mighty and amazing in your life, I want to hear about it. And your dear brothers and sisters around the world want to hear about it. Go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org, and just click on testimony or testify. Fill in your testimony and submit it, and it will be reviewed. And even as we review it and we see that it's appropriate to be put up, then we'll put it up and God will bless you mightily. But in saying that, let's begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray for your child who's watching this video. Lord, as your child reads your word, Lord, give your child the ability to discern between spirit, between soul, between flesh. Let your child begin to understand what is from the spirit, what is from you, what you are saying, and what is another voice something, so that your child will have direction. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we read your scripture, equip your child who's watching this video fully. Equip your child for the destiny and the purpose that you call them to do. Equip your child for the destiny and the calling that you placed on their life. Even as your word is read, I ask this in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, even as we read your word, as your child who's watching this video reads your word, Give your child divine direction. Show your child the way that they must go. Show your son the way that he must go. Show your daughter who's watching this the way that she must go. Let your child hear a voice from behind them, saying this is the way, walk in it, even as your child reads your word. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, help us by your grace to take your word and not just read it, but to put it into practice. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Help us by your grace to put your word into practice. And Lord, even as we put your word into practice, give divine miracles and divine results. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, make my dear friend watching this video pure, even as your word is read. Lord, let it be like pure, refreshing, refining waters, just watching my dear friend, even as my dear friend spends time reading your word. I ask this in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the power and the glory of God is here. I just sense that someone watching this video is being healed right now. Even as the word has gone out, there's something happening in your body. You feel a warmth over your body and you're being healed. There are about four people whose cysts are disappearing in the body. I want you to testify. As it happens to you, go on the website and testify. God is doing something amazing. God is doing something wonderful. Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord, let us be blessed as we hear and obey your word. Lord, release more blessing, blessing after blessing, as your child is watching this video, hears and obeys your word. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, as we take your word, the pure, logos word of God, yes. and as you breathe on it, Lord Holy Spirit, as you breathe revelation knowledge on it, Lord, and it becomes real to us, Lord, let it be as if we are standing on the solid rock, where the winds and the waves may come, but we will not fall, where our house will be built, and firmly rooted on the solid rock where the house will stand the test of time. I ask this in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for it, Lord. And Lord, last but not least, release your word to accomplish the divine mission, the divine agenda, the divine uh, thing that